the bounce house. And it's easy to see why they call it that. Home of the Knights of UCF. What do you think about that? And this crowd is ready for a big one. Little gets the blood boiling. Quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Cincinnati Bearcats, taking on another team from the Big 12, the UCF Knights. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Knights will put total leather to crank us up. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. So the Cincinnati Bearcats return team certainly didn't do the offense any favors there. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling. The temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, and David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Looking to throw at Soresby. Just a short pass to the tight end. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game... And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on. The and the Bearcats will line up to punt it away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll call for the fair catch here. So UCF's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, the inside give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. The Knights in the hurry up. He wants to pass it on second down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Pittman. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Offense in the hurry up. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And they stopped him in the backfield on third down and short. And how about that? You don't see those, you know, touch passes go for negative yards very often. Usually this is a short flip that counts as a completion that goes a long way, but the defense aggressive. Saw it, pulled the trigger, came outside, made sure he didn't get outside and get to that edge. Nice job by the defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Here comes the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out and get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. 
Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking to pass. It's Soresby. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. They'll try to get it through the air. The throw to the outside is complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves them with second and short. Draws and screens are a great way to slow down really aggressive pass rushers. It allows the defensive ends and the defensive tackles to run upfield. The offensive linemen kind of push them upfield, go down to the next level, try to sneak in a big play. On the ground, it's Kiner. Tackled at the 43 after picking up 10. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. The Bearcats have this offense rolling. They go to the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And if I'm the running back, I'm going to be like, listen, O-line, can you give me something? Can you give me some space to try to make somebody miss and not have another guy right next to me? I I'm giving the offensive line an earful. I need some holes, need some space up front. they got to do a better job. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They go to the ground. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. The deep thinking brings some heat on third and long from the 44. They'll try to pop the draw. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. Not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block that. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? The Bearcats decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? Pulled and finds his man on the left. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. For a wide receiver screen to work, you've got to have better blocking out in front by other receivers, and they're just not physical enough at the point on that last play. The Knights want to pick up the tempo. Scanning the field, it's Jefferson. Gets it out fast. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played and no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail, and I think the sense of urgency, David, in a game like this just goes way up. And I think managing the emotions in these type of games, you, you know last year was a classic. Now you're trying to form this year's identity of this team and go out and get a win in a big-time rivalry game. Well, the running back did a nice job there, keeping his feet moving. He was able to drag some defenders with him to get that first down. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. The Knights have it with a first and ten. They're going to ride this running back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven.
Quinn with the running game on first down now back at it. Hand off from the shotgun. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. I like the poise by the quarterback on that play, too, because a lot of times, as a quarterback, you see the blitz coming, and immediately you want to audible, you want to try to throw the ball, but he knew that he had a good run play called, and he knew he could leave it on. Heads up play by the QB. They'll try to bully their way for the first. The Knights will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's Smith. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Looking for a productive play on first down. On the ground with the counter. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking to throw at Soresby. They've got the screen set up. And it'll be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you. But you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to power their way ahead. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. They'll ride the hot hand. Still running at the 40. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. I bet that running back's eyes got so big when he gets that handoff going to the right and he sees the huge holes. Yes, please. The defense just didn't flow quickly enough. All of the blockers had leverage on their men. Man, that defensive line has to get off the ball a little bit better, get some penetration to stop that outside run. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. It's caught. And he's brought down after a nice game. You know, this sophomore has a big arm, and there were some revolutions on that one. And they might have the defense's head spinning a little bit now. Hit him with a big run, now they hit him with a big pass. Man, it's so hard to defend both. You know that. Which coverage do I want to put? Do I want to put more people in the box to stop the run? When you've got this kind of balance on offense, the defense can't be right. Looking for space. It's Kiner. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. The give to the back. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Dropping back, it's Soresby. Trying to get to it. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Great timing by the defense there. Obviously, the offense has the ball in the red zone, and you're trying to create a negative play to back them up. They do that with the sack, and if they're now going to try a field goal, it's going to be a little more work for the kicker. Now on 
second fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. Handoff from the gun. A seven yard pickup, it'll be second and three. The Knights will hustle to the line. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. They get to the line quickly. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Grabbed over the middle. It's Townsend. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out working on those critical down and distances third downs and having that conversion this early in the game that's got to feel good for this offense running back goes in motion trying to find his man on first down he puts a lot of air under it down the sideline pulls it in on the right and he'll take it to the house he got loose touchdown what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish the drive with a 64-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. It's Henderson. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. The give to the tailback. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They'll run play action. Skips away from pressure. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. 
Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Leaves it with the back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. That's the end of the quarter, and UCF has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. The Bearcats will punt this one away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollard. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. The Knights come to the line in the hurry up. The play action fake. Caught behind the line. It's Townsend. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Trying to pick it up on the ground. Putting together a real scoring thread here as they pick up the first down at the 36. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that third down and short. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys on the field. Stringing first downs together like this makes it hard to defend. Red pass. It's complete. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. Nice job decision-making by the quarterback there in the RPO, not handing it off, knowing he had to throw it, but then also understanding his open guy was going to be in the right flat. The Knights are threatening in the red zone. is effective and they tackle him at the 19. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down and he must go down hard and he did. <laughs> and often is good too. The most you can get to him but great job by the defense rushing the quarterback understanding pass and getting the big fella on the ground. Back to pass it's Jefferson unloads to the wide out. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And that's one thing this defense takes a lot of pride on. They like tackling the catch, and they like being around the ball. That time, he was in proximity to knock that thing loose. Nice physical play. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Field goal is good. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll start the return inside his five. 
He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just it... And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they built the lead. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Trying to make magic on the scramble. At the 45 on its way. And how about that run? A huge gain and the slide at the end. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing them. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers. They can't catch him because they're faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much electricity now with these guys. Off the play fake on first down. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. Ooh, there's, there's an example, Jesse, of a receiver making his quarterback look bad. Most of the time, to make it look good and cover up for him, all those balls y'all don't throw on line, but oof, that would hit him in a pretty good spot. He needs to come down with that one. Second down coming up. Wants to throw. It's Soresby. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. The defense is just killing it. Success after success after success. If I'm the offense, i got to change something up, or my quarterback's going to be forced to change because he's going to be in the injury team. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Johnson. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Off the play fake on first down to throw. A strike downfield. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Knights racing to the line in the hurry up. They'll give it to the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll try the run. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45.
They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. It's hard probably for the fans. Well, I'm listen, for me too, to justify you haven't ran the football very well, not a lot of success, third and short, and you run the football again. So I think you got to find something that's going to work. Maybe get the quarterback out, in the, out of the pocket, him running the football, or he can run or pass. But the run game just itself, it's been pretty stuffed so far by this defense. Now they'll try the right side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TF out. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking downfield, it's Soresby. Just missed on the connection incomplete. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Bearcats will call on their punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? He leaves it with his back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run. Got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. The Knights want to move quickly. On second down, looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. And what that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play call. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. And the defense brought the blitz on third down, trying to see if they could rattle the quarterback. But how about the poise? He knew where his answer was. He didn't panic or freak out. He just went through his progressions, picked up the first, and we got a fresh set of downs. Motion from the offense. Back to throw, it's Jefferson. Fires to the middle. Got him downfield. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success, and a really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. The Knights are rolling down the field. Fast motion from the offense. He's going to pass. He's right on target. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. All right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. The Knights have it with a first and ten. Here's a quick throw out to the left. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. A 
After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. Give to the back. Able to get one down to the 15. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires into the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Man, what a great break on the ball. Way to knock it down. But, man, this situation, they're, they're almost in field goal range. Had a chance to maybe take some points off of the board. That's a big play that we might circle back to later. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. It's good. And now the lead is even bigger. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Looks like he's going to try to return it. And the returner will be knocked down. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. He wants to throw. And that defense gets to him. And down he goes at the nine. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. To the air, it's sore speed. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. Goodness gracious, this is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game, are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. And this defense has taken up residence in the backfield, and the crowd loves it. Third and long. On the run, it's Kiner. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Bearcats line up to punt it away. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. The punt team makes its way onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Quick step and go. And the returner will be brought down. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. On second down, they'll take to the air. He lost it high and deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Yeah, and nice play by the QB, understanding when to get the ball out, 
This is a, something that I guarantee you, Palmer, you and your receivers did all the time at Florida. Just the timing, knowing when the ball's coming out and when the ball's going to be thrown so I can go make a play. It's so important to rep it like that because you never know in games when those opportunities are going to happen. But I think that time, the quarterback pre-snap, him and the receiver, they made a little eye contact. They knew this was going to be an opportunity, and they went out and they executed what they practice every single day, what you just said, David, and it works to perfection. Looking to throw, it's Jefferson. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Well, that last incompletion is a good example of why your timing has to be so good as a quarterback because the windows, they open and they close so quickly in this part of the field. They'll give it another shot on second and goal from the floor. He's looking to throw. Fires into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. It's tough to throw the ball down here in the red zone, man. These windows, they open and they close so quickly. You've got to have great timing. And right now, this offense doesn't have it. They've thrown two straight incompletions, setting up third down. Cutting it close now with third and goal upcoming. From the gun, wants to pass. Let's it fly. He makes the catch at the end zone. Touchdown, UCF! What a throw by the QB. You think about it, you don't have much space near the sideline, and he put that thing right on the outside of the sideline where his receiver could go make a play. Not only does he make the play, I'm pretty sure he got a foot in bounds, and that's a great touchdown catch. What a playmaker. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. It all comes down to this drive right here, Reese. Obviously, this offense hasn't had everything go right for them in the first half, but here's an opportunity, David, to execute some plays, put some throws together, and generate some points. And you're right, Jesse, and this offense needs to start now. Like, we got to get some points on the board, create some momentum, and continue it, because you've dug yourself a significant hole. We're able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first down. The Bearcats are in the hurry up. Back to throw, it's Soresby. And the catch along the sideline will come up a little short of the first down. And a really good job focusing on the catch. A lot of people get lost on their feet and trying to stay in bounds, but did a good job catching the football first and then getting that one foot they needed in bounds. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Bought a little time, lets it go. Caught near the sticks, it's Henderson. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. And the Bearcats getting set on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. You know, it's a good decision by the QB because his intended target wasn't open, so throw it out of bounds, and you can live to play another day here on this drive. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw, using his legs to buy some time. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. 
Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Makes the grab. It's Johnson. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. He boomed it through. A 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner will be brought down. So the offense has done its job. They have the lead, and they'll secure it as we head to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The Bearcats will kick it off to start the second half. On the move from inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. Out to the 36-yard line after gaining 10 on that one. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. The quarterback just lost track of the play clock. Didn't get the snap off quickly enough. From the gun, the give, looking for room. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. Line getting set on second down. He's got it on the right. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Great job by the defense, seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop.
The Knights will send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Fair catch called for and made around the 20-yard line. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. Yeah, and listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker who is so important to this team. We're coming after it. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you've got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. they got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend grabs behind the line it's Henderson and he's not going to make it the defense denying him the first down well that time on third and long they just took what the defense gave him nothing down the field they were hoping maybe he could make somebody miss after the catch wasn't able to do it so now it sets up fourth the Bearcats will punt it away on fourth down He only needs a sliver of daylight. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? Leaves it with the back. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. The Knights headed quickly to the line. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Throws to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. When you're throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. He'll come out throwing on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Harvey. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Now on second down. They'll go to the ground. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. The Knights are moving quickly down the field. Going up top on first down. He's got an open man. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. Well, and you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. The Knights trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Knights! Now 
they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. So that scoring drive took only six plays and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. Second and ten. He'll throw again. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. And it is a chunk play. A huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. Looking for a man. It's Soresby. Grabs it in the middle. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. You can work your way down the field with these wide receiver screens, but also look for the opportunity to turn them into chunk plays later. No doubt. You throw it quickly. You get it to him now. DB comes up, has to make a tackle. Now you fake it maybe a little bit later on. So these plays, they're not huge plays all the time, but they can set up big plays down the road for your offense. Leaves it with the running back. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Quickly complete. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. Off play action. He'll take a shot. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Bearcats! Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that ball. Nice job. Ready to try the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a 35-yard pass for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. 
the Knights moving quickly to the line. Gonna run it. It's Harvey. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. Moving quickly, trying to rattle the D. To the air. It's Jefferson. Got his man quickly. Dances away again. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. He'll do it himself. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Went to the running game on first down, now second down. They'll go to the toss. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Boy, it was like the defender heard the play call. He was ready for that one. And one of the things is diagnose and go get it. They saw it, and they went and got it. They were not letting that ball go to the wide side of the field. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking for a huge play. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. And money down is where you see defenses really understand where the sticks are, play great pass defense, know what's coming, and get off the field. The Knights will bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They've clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Turner. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast. They force a negative play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Caught in the backfield. It's Kiner. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. I know a lot of people are going to look at that play and say, man, that was a bad play. Didn't get any yards. But that could be the offense maybe setting something up. The play caller is going to remember that last play. He's going to remember how the defense reacted to it, made a quick tackle. They might pump that throw and then hit another player vertically down the field for an explosive play down the line. Just keep... He hurls one deep down the left side. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Got some room to run. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why you play defense, because you don't have hands? Yeah. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. 
After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. The Knights want to crank the tempo. Dropping back, it's Jefferson. Fires to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught. But how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. The Knights will have it first and 10. to the ground but not before getting enough for the first down the Knights have their offense in high gear quarterback on the keeper they bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one We've seen throughout this drive success for the offense when they've been running the quarterback. Finally, though, the defense got it right. Everybody played their assignment. They honed in on them, and they got a big stop. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Unloads it left. Makes the grab. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route, understanding the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. The Knights have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Second and goal for this offense. On the option. Quick toss. And they just didn't get anybody on that defense out of position, and they will lose yardage on that one. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal-to-go situations, Palmer. you got to get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. You don't want to take a sack, lose extra yardage here. Just be smart with the football. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Needs to get it in the end zone on third and goal. Buys a little time. He was thinking touchdown on the scramble, but they're able to stop him short of the end zone. What a third down stop by this defense. Third down and goal, no problem. You know that guy. Every time he touches the football, you hold your breath because he's so dynamic at the quarterback spot. They were ready, and they forced the fourth and goal. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further.
They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. Oh, picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this DB. Offense getting set for first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He was able to reach into his bag of tricks and use it to pick up a few extra yards. Well, that's called paying off good field position. You've got the lead here late in the game. You've got the ball back. You're on your opponent's side of the 50, and on your very first play, you break off a long run. This defense right now is playing on their heels late. Dropping back, it's Jefferson. He looks that one in nicely. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. The Knights in the hurry up. He'll pull it on the read. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. You know, as a quarterback, when you're doing this zone read play, you got to read that defensive end. And if he crashes down hard inside to take the running back away, right away you know now you're keeping the football. Nice job by the quarterback. Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. Working that left side now. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. They'd love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of a field goal, but it's the touchdown, UCF! And the beatdown has ensued. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Henderson. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Wants to throw on first down. Quick completion on the out. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route, and this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. Less than a yard to go to pick up the first down. To throw, it's Soresby. Got his man in the middle. Tackle is made after the first down. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they really featured this guy today. They'll throw it on first down. Looking left. 
How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? The Bearcats will snap it on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. Got his man downfield. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Excellent throw by the quarterback. Found the window between the zones and then delivered the ball on time. Just inside the 35, first and 10 from the 34. Back to the air one more time. With the catch, it's Smith. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Off the play fake. Throwing right. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. Well, they take a shot down the field. It's another incompletion. It's really been that kind of story. This defense has made this guy earn it every single play. Really small windows to throw into. One touchdown pass. That's a little bit surprising. You thought maybe they'd have more in this game. Looking to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. Third down and short is exactly what you want on offense because you can run the football, make the defense suck up, but you can also throw it. Nice execution, third and short, now set up in a first and goal situation. And the Bearcats are threatening on first and goal. Use the play fake, now to throw. And it's caught! Touchdown, Bearcats! And what a nice play call and nice execution. Play action, you're thinking run. Quarterback pulls it out, throws the football right behind those guys and gets the touchdown. Yeah, it was a nice job there by the quarterback, too, on, on the ball handling. He just froze the defense just long enough to help those wide receivers and targets get some separation in the end zone. And at that point, it was just an easy pitch and catch. And they'll try to tack on two. Back to pass. It's Soresby. Feeling some heat. He's looking. Pressure's coming in. The pressure gets there. And down he goes. And they won't be able to cut into this lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And he breaks into the open. 
And they get him out of bounds after an explosive run, just chewing up yardage along the way. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. That last play is the kind of thing the offense can really build some momentum on, and now they've got it first and 10 outside the 40. Using his legs, it's Boone. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Give to the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. A third and long coming up here. Back to throw, it's Jefferson. A shot for the end zone. Touchdown, Knights! And the punishment has been extended. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the final 41 yards covered by that touchdown strike. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. They'll throw it on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Johnson. They make the stop, not a whole lot of ground picked up there, and they'll have work to do to get the first down. A lot of times you're throwing these slants to the big body guys because they're so physical and they can win with physicality, but... When you throw it to a little guy like this, I, I, I just know he's going to win with his speed. He's got that much quicks. He's going to win, and I'm going to force feed him the ball and let him make plays. He'll off one deep down the left side. And it's caught inside the 15. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. They just changed the dynamic of this possession in a heartbeat, and now it's first and ten from inside the red zone. They'll run it from the gun. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Operating in the red zone here on second down. to the air. It's Soresby. He wants it all. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Well, I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football. And you saw that there on the incompletion. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. He'll throw on third down. And he's got it! 
Touchdown, Cincinnati! And nice job by the quarterback, hanging in the pocket, hanging in there. He knew he was going to take a lick. He took the lick, delivered a strike, and got the score. Lining up for the PAT. Right down the boulevard. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. So they got the score. The lead is still 18 as they prepare to kick off. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. What a good mix of plays, keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they wanted. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So on this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Discards a man. They get him stopped after a gain of four out to the 28. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Trying play action. And they can't make the connection on third down. Are you kidding me? Really? Are you kidding me? The Knights send out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Looking to go up top on first down. Bought a little time, lets it go. Just tried to drop a little floater in there and it's incomplete. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here with a big lead in the game. You're putting extra DBs on the field knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field and they force an incompletion on the last one. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking for a man. It's Soresby. Quickly complete. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Snagged in the middle, it's Johnson. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Quarterbacks love receivers that can do damage once they have the football in his hands. No doubt there. Easy slant, completion, and then let your receiver go make hay once he has the ball. And the Bearcats come to the line with a new set of downs. To the air on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Another hit on the quarterback. All day long, this defense has been able to pin their ears back and get after this guy, and because of that, he's never gotten into a rhythm throwing the football, and that's why they find themselves trailing here late in the fourth quarter. They keep attacking through the air. They're trying to get to it. Finds his man. It's Kiner. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. You know, that play right there shows me that the quarterback has a plan. He had no hesitation. The defense was bearing down on him. He got hit on that play, but he knew where his running back was. Got it out to him quick. And as a result, he avoided the negative play in sack. They'll throw on third and short. Gets it out quickly. The Bearcats brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. Yeah. 
New set of downs after that completion. Looking downfield, it's Soresby. Got a man in the middle. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. The thing I like about this slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route running. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry together. And the Bearcats want to pick up the tempo. From the red zone, looking for a space. And it's caught! Touchdown, Bearcats! And how about the offense? They spread them out. Everybody spread wide. Easier to read a defense when you do that. They find the matchup they want, and they get rewarded with the score. And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And they take another look at the play with the officials on the field. We're right, and the play will stand. And he tacked on the extra point. They took it 68 yards on that drive, and they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but, man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience. He bounced that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. This is a big third down. If they can move the chains, they can just about salt this game away. Running back searching for a hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Knights will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Making sure there's no return on that one as the punt sails out of bounds. Line gets set. First down. To the air, it's Soresby. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Well, we knew this quarterback had put up some monster numbers. He is putting on a clinic in this game. He now has over 400 yards passing. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Comes out throwing on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Smith. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. Well, give the defense credit on that one because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. The hurry up now. Second down. Clock ticking. He's looking to throw. 
quarterback just flat missed it. Incomplete. I'll tell you what, you could tell the defense knew exactly what they were doing. They were dialed in, took away the primary target. And then it's on you as an offense. Now I gotta adjust. I gotta do something different to what they're doing. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing. But now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. You've got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. Pressure coming. He'll pull it down. On the move at the 30. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. The Bearcats will line it up on first and ten. Looking to throw at Soresby. Fires to the right. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. This quarterback desperately wants to make a chunk play, but they're going to be deepest to deepest, widest to widest. He's got to be patient. No doubt. Situational football is probably one of the most underrated, untalked about things. Like, understanding the situation. I have the lead. They have to take shots down the field. I'm going to play pass. i got to rush the passer. i got to keep him in the pocket. All those things come into play throughout this game. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. I'll tell you, this offense just can't afford too many more incompletions because time's running out in the game. They need big plays in the passing attack vertically down the field. And they've got to score some touchdowns. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Here's a throw downfield late. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. we got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's going up top here late in the game. Timeout call by the offense. We have 18 seconds left. How about that one? Fourth and forever, and he just turned one loose and fired it for the first down. Man, does that sting. Defensively, you get him in the perfect situation. You know they're going to pass the football. You play the ball deep, and you give up a deep pass. That is a back-breaking play. He makes the catch. He's knocked down immediately, but they'll have a goal-to-go -go situation from the eighth. 